I just don't understand why we can't leave the fables and things of our past alone, right? This obsession with viewing everything through the lens of identity, I find personally incredibly tedious. I mean, clearly they've decided, right, that Santa is a privileged white heterosexual male who needs something to give him some points on the old identity checklist to pass for making it on telly this year. I mean, you'd be forgiven for thinking that there weren't actual problems in the world, Rosie. To me, maybe I'm just an old, boring prude, but I'd actually be saying the same thing if Santa was copping off on television with Mrs. Claus, right, on the telly. I just think fundamentally it's wrong to sexualise Santa. I mean, this is the story, the politicisation of Christmas, right? Of the story of of joy and light, the birth of Christ. Darren, I mean, Darren, the- Darren, I've, I've I've expressed the same view. We're running out of time. I, someone's just messaged me. What's wrong with kissing a man? Are you homophobic? Here we go. You know, if if you object to Father Christmas involved in a clinch with a bloke, you're homophobic. That's not what we're saying. Well, absolutely not. And given that I kiss blokes myself, that would be an odd turn of events, wouldn't it? But I, I just I just find this whole thing, this this politicisation of Christmas to be wrong. I mean, you even had really quickly the Tesco advert making Santa show his COVID passport. I just find it incredibly tedious to alter these stories to suit political narratives. Look at the Aldi advert. That was a play on a Christmas carol by Charles Dickens with Marcus Radishford and Ebanana Scrooge. That was funny. You know, that was cute. That was nice. Let's just not, let's not, I let's think, leave it there. Christmas to show how woke and progressive we are. 